When it comes to device protection, every year people have the same question, and this year is no different. The question is, what's the best antivirus 2025? Today, I'm diving into the top three antivirus providers on the market, Norton, Total AV, and Bitdefender. I'll compare their security features, ease of use, and pricing to help you find the one that's the best fit for your needs. And I'm even gonna try to fit it into 10 minutes by including only the juiciest comparisons so you're not wasting your time. All right, let's get started. We'll start with Norton Antivirus, which has built a solid reputation over the years and now is one of the best antivirus for Windows 11 options. Two quick notes up front. One, please note that support for Windows 10 is going to be cut this year. And two, though any of my recommended antiviruses can also be considered a best antivirus for Windows 10, I'm mostly going to focus on Windows 11 protection. As for Norton, it consistently ranks high in independent security tests. AV Comparatives and AV Test provide reliable data on how well antivirus programs protect against threats, and Norton's performance in these tests speaks for itself. These high scores are also nothing new to Norton. It's been a solid antivirus choice from the very beginning. But while we trust these tests, here at Cyber News, we believe in going a step further. We do our own testing. So testing gloves up and ready the malware bucket. How do we set up this malware test? Well, we challenged Norton by throwing 150 malware files its way to see how it would handle them. And before that challenge, we disabled real-time protection. This step is important because we want to see how both the scanning and real-time capabilities performed on their own. During the full scan, Norton successfully identified and quarantined 135 out of the 150 malware files, demonstrating relatively minimal use of my CPU and taking around 15 minutes. In the real-time protection test, Norton blocked 119 of the 150 malware samples from executing, with decent speeds for catching most malware we threw at it. But beyond its malware detection capabilities, there are other reasons to get Norton. It offers a wide range of features designed to enhance security and usability. Real-time protection is a lifesaver because it continually monitors the system for threats so you don't need to run manual scans, which, let's be honest, most of us forget to do sometimes. Norton also provides multiple scanning options, including quick, full system, and smart scans. Of course, I always recommend running full scans to ensure that no digital stone is left unturned. But smart scan is also interesting. It scans more than just files, giving you a better overall pulse of your device's health. Additional tools such as the smart firewall, safe cam, and dark web monitoring add more layers of protection for specific use cases. The smart firewall, which is one of the most customizable on the market, helps secure network connections, while dark web monitoring alerts users if their personal information appears on illicit online marketplaces. Norton also includes a VPN and password manager, though these are optional add-ons. But if you need complete security, it's nice that you can get them all from one place. The user interface is another area where Norton excels. And coming from me, someone who complained about Norton for years, that's saying a lot. Their redesign is clean, intuitive, and easy to navigate, making it accessible for users of all experience levels. And get this, there are no more pop-ups for every tool. Now everything is located in the same window, which is great because those pop-ups were the bane of my existence. Norton is compatible with Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS, and it's one of the best antivirus for Mac options if you're looking for extra security. However, one common criticism that still lingers is the frequency of notifications. But I guess it depends on how easily you get annoyed. Pricing is structured to accommodate a variety of budgets. The entry-level plan offers basic antivirus protection and is a good quick solution, while more advanced plans include additional features like cloud backup, safe cam, and dark web monitoring. Overall, I like that the different subscriptions allow you to balance your privacy and security level with your budget. However, the thing that I love most about Norton is their very generous 60-day money-back guarantee. This gives you plenty of time to test the software risk-free, which is also twice as long as what most competitors offer. Proof that Norton stands behind its product. In summary, Norton Antivirus delivers strong malware protection, which has been proven by both official testing and independent evaluations. And it keeps getting better with fresh updates. So I can wholeheartedly recommend Norton to anyone. Now let's shift gears to the next best antivirus 2025 contender, Total AV. Like Norton, Total AV is a major player in the antivirus space, but how does it really stack up against the competition? According to official testing results, Total AV shows strong protection capabilities, often scoring above 90% in malware detection rates. 
But of course, I wanted to see how this best antivirus for PC contender performs in real world conditions. Our results were solid. Total AV detected and blocked 120 out of 150 malware samples during the full scan and caught exactly the same 120 with real time protection. While these numbers are good, they're slightly lower than Norton's near perfect scores. The scan took about the same time as with Norton, though my CPU usage was way up during the entire scan. One notable gap is that Total AV doesn't include a firewall, which might be a deal breaker for users who want comprehensive network protection. Total AV has some really nice additional features. Its WebShield tool is a standout, effectively blocking access to malicious websites and adding an extra layer of security. The Cleaner tool is another highlight, helping me to optimize my system by removing junk files and improving performance. There's also a breach scan feature that checks if your personal data has been exposed online. Like Norton, Total AV bundles a VPN and password manager with its higher tier plans, making it a well-rounded option. However, it's worth noting that the VPN has a data cap limit on lower tier plans, which will make it less suitable for someone anticipating heavy usage. In terms of usability, Total AV's interface is clean, intuitive, and easy to navigate. Whether you're on Windows, Mac OS, or even mobile, the layout is straightforward and the controls are simple to understand. When it comes to pricing, Total AV offers a free version, which is a great way to test the software, though it's quite limited in features. The paid plans are where Total AV really delivers value. The entry-level plan includes real-time protection and the cleaner tool, which is a good starting point. However, as you move up to mid-tier and premium plans, you gain access to the VPN, password manager, and additional features like WebShield and BreachScan. Total AV also offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it out risk-free to see if it meets your needs. Overall, Total AV is a strong contender in the antivirus space, offering solid malware protection and a suite of useful tools like WebShield, Cleaner, and BreachScan. And while it lacks a firewall, Total AV does work well with a native Windows security firewall. Now, last but not least, we have Bitdefender, another heavyweight in the antivirus world who's been around for years. Like Norton and Total AV, Bitdefender has built a strong reputation for security, and its official testing results back that up. In independent tests, Bitdefender also consistently scores near-perfect marks, with a 100% detection rate for both widespread malware and zero-day threats. After running my own tests, Bitdefender detected and blocked 121 out of 150 malware samples during the full scan and caught 125 with real-time protection turned on. One thing to note, the scan took the longest out of these three providers, and my CPU usage was all over the place. Nothing too bad, but it might be best to leave your PC alone during the scan. The interface here is clean and minimal, but Bitdefender's feature set is where it really stands out. Its real-time protection is excellent, but it goes beyond just malware defense. It also includes ransomware remediation, which can help recover files if they're encrypted by an attack, and anti-phishing tools to keep you safe from fraudulent websites. One feature I particularly appreciate is the webcam and microphone protection, which blocks unauthorized access to your device's cameras and mics, something that's becoming increasingly important in today's privacy-conscious world. The scanning options are also robust, with full, quick, and custom scans available. And another standout is Bitdefender's VPN, which comes with a built-in ad blocker. While the VPN is a nice addition, it's worth noting that the free version has a daily data limit. Bitdefender offers a free version, but like most free antivirus tools, it's pretty basic. The paid plans start with the Antivirus Plus tier, which includes essential features like real-time protection and anti-malware. Total security plan includes parental controls and firewall protection. Moving up to the Internet security plan includes all of that, plus the VPN and file encryption. Bitdefender also provides a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it out risk-free. To sum things up, Bitdefender is a powerhouse when it comes to protection and features. Its near-perfect detection rates, robust privacy tools, and additional perks like the VPN and password manager make it a strong choice for anyone looking for comprehensive security. The main downsides are that it can be a bit slow, and CPU usage is all over the place. So where does that leave us? Norton offers the best overall protection with top-tier malware detection and a user-friendly interface. Total AV is a great all-in-one solution, with tools like WebShield and Cleaner. However, it lacks a firewall. And Bitdefender delivers excellent security and privacy features, but its higher system demands might not suit everyone. Ultimately, all three are solid options, and the best choice will depend on your specific needs and budget. But personally, I use Norton. Shh, keep that between the two of us.
If you're ready to make a decision, be sure to check the links in the description for exclusive discounts on Norton, Total AV, and Bitdefender. I've done the legwork to find the best deals for you so you can save while you're staying protected. And if you're still on the fence, don't forget to check out the next video for more in-depth reviews of other top antivirus providers. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. That's it for now. See you later.